going on in your life, it doesn't even, you don't even have to worry about what the future will bring. But we have a more sure word of prophecy. So if you know God's word, you can predict the next year. Yes, we do have a word from heaven. That's the truth. The Lord gave it to me in the third quarter. In fact, from October, sir, I knew what the word of the Lord was for this year. But the truth of the matter is this. We have a sure, more sure word of prophecy. My brother, my sister, be delivered from itching ears. There will always be a preacher who can preach your pastor. But there will never be an anointing that's, that's I mean, they, but there will never be a preacher that is assigned to your life in a season that's more anointed than your pastor. Do you know that to me, my wife is the prettiest woman in the world? To me, hope, I'm hoping that I'm the most handsome man in the world. I'm hoping. But I'm not deceiving myself oh, that I'm the most handsome man in the world. I'm not. Oh. I just know that Jesus loves me, so I have good self esteem. That's all. But I'm not deceiving myself that. There are no prettier men than me. They say, well, men are pretty. I'm not talking about homosexuals. Oh. Pretty, pretty. Are you somebody? So women are handsome. <laughs> I won't say anything about that, but that's all I'll say. I didn't say you. I said so women. I didn't say. I'm even, am I not talking about myself now? I'll be you. <laughs> that means when they talk. Anyway, so you, you see, the... The same God. Are you here, somebody? I said the same God. So 2020, the, se the, the, the season is changing. But it's the same God. You know that God doesn't live in time. He's waiting for you in 2024. He has already been there. And he has told you in his word what you will meet there. You will meet Proverbs 4, 18 there. The path of a just man is as a shining light that shines more and more into the perfect day. You will meet 2 Corinthians 2 14 there. Now, thanks be unto God who always causes us to triumph in Christ Jesus and maketh manifest the sweet salve of his knowledge by us, by, 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 by us in Christ Jesus. You will meet Romans 8 31 there. What shall we say to these things? If God be for us, who or what can successfully be against us? You meet Romans 8 that's true there. If God did not spare his own son, but gave him up for us, how shall he not also with him freely give us all things? Friends, be delivered from itching ears. Stop looking for the preacher that's trending. Stay with the ones assigned to your life. And stay with, no preacher trending has anything more than the word of God. And can I tell you, every preacher has their season. So if you're going to follow trending preachers, you'll be, you'll just be going around, running around. It's the same word of God we all use. It's the same Jesus that anoints all of us. So settle down. Some people, eh, some people, their ear, their ear is in Mexico. Half of their bomb bomb is in Singapore. Their chest is in uh, Cambodia. Spiritually speaking, there is no spiritual influence in their life. There's some people when they sit down and they're hearing their pastor, they'll say, ah, ah, that, but that's not what Apostle so so and so said. Go there now. Let him follow you to your house and do pastoral care for you. <laughs> not you. Some people, their destinies are messed up because they, they, they have itching ears. The gospel is too simple for them. They like complicated. They just want big, big things. That they don't want things to be shaking them. <laughs> Anyhow, when you cook rice, not rice, oh. <laughs> Fry and cook ham. Anyhow, not rice, oh. Put coloration inside. Put, make it red rice, green rice. All oh, not rice. <laughs> all of us, not Jesus, call us. All of us, not Jesus, anoint us, oh. So you're not going to make me enter ministry that's not my own. You can't even make me feel I'm not anointed. You're too late. Are you a light? I'm You're too late. So I want to exhort somebody today. Are you here, somebody? Be delivered from itching ears. Don't get tired of God's word. Don't think it's, so, it's too simple. Don't think that God is going to reinvent something because you have entered into a new year. This book, since he bought it together, 66 books, that's all we have. And that's all we're going to get. We may have fresh insights, but that's all we need. 
So don't think you need anything extra to get out of where you are into where God needs you to be. It's just what you may need is extra attention on this book. You know, some people tell you they're praying. They don't really pray. Some people say, I prayed three hours. They didn't really pray three hours. They thought they were praying. Do you know you think you can think you are praying? Go ahead. You don't know. Okay. The wisdom week is coming now. Some of you think you're reading the scripture because that you thought you, you read it doesn't mean you read it. <laughs> and I'm not joking, you know. Say, so, ah, you know, I pray for three hours every day. In your dreams. Say, so, God, I've been trusting you. I've been confessing your word. For one minute, once in six months, say, God, I've been confessing your word. God's word is true. You can't even bamboozle God. May we receive grace for fresh attention on God's word. You will not need anything more than God's word to change your life. I tell you this. So don't stumble at the simplicity of God's word. Don't stumble at its, at its simplicity. Don't stumble at it. And don't turn ministers into, into show, show men or show women. That people will be competing to see whether or not you have prophetic or whatever. What, what is all of that? The word of God is prophetic. It's a show word of prophecy. Some of you are so deep, you're stuck. So deep. So deep, deep, deep Christians, deep ministers everywhere, deep with no results. Deep, they're just deep. They open their mouth, they don't be speaking all kinds of things. So my exhortation to you is this. 2024 will change, and there's a prophetic word for the season. No doubt. But God's word is eternal. Let's receive grace to rediscover a love for God's word. Are you here, somebody? I said, are you here, somebody? Glory to God. Glory to God. You will fulfill your destiny. Amen. You will do God's will. Amen. The thing that the devil said won't happen will happen in your eye and the devil's eye. Amen. Have you not heard? He prepares a table before us in the presence of our enemies. You see, there's something about God. God is one kind. God not shine, shine. He likes shine, shine. No. If you don't organize the thing for him to shine, he'll just leave you there. God likes reversing the irreversible. God likes changing the counsel of kings and judges and princes. God likes it when people say it's impossible. They say, yeah, this is a job for super God. <laughs> God loves the impossible. In fact, the more impossible it is, the closer you are to intervention. So may you come to the end of yourself very quickly. Amen. Stop worrying and start praising. Stop worrying and start thinking and thanking him. But as we enter this year, may you become, may we all receive a fresh baptism for addiction to the kingdom of God's expansion on this earth. Don't let anything distract you. Are you here, somebody? Glory to God. I said, Glory to God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. So today, again, we're starting from the known to the, to the unknown. Are you here, somebody? There are some things in 2024 that will never change. Aren't you glad God doesn't change? Psalm 102, verse 25. We're going to do this very fast. Years come and go. Seasons come and go. But God remains the same. I am so glad that God remains the same. Hallelujah. We're just learning work. We have not started. We're just learning work. We just celebrated our 20th anniversary with uh, wedding anniversary with my sweetheart here. We're just learning work. We have not started yet. But I am so glad that she's a woman of covenant. Because I know that I know it. I can sense it. Not by prophecy. That sometimes I make her angry. I know sometimes she'll just think, look at this angel's boy with his big head. How do I get stuck with this joker? <laughs> but we are stuck. <laughs> we did here, man. 
I'm glad that we don't just change our mind like that. I'm still happy about the African culture. Even though some people are becoming very idiotic these days. Just jump in and jump out. You marry, you don't marry Bidato. <laughs> what can't your salvation fear and trembling? Okay now. You caught us, we ate your rice. Oh. So. So after we don't eat your rice now, you don't know, say you don't buy job. Now look. <laughs> this guy is crossover. Oh. Of old hast thou laid the foundation of the earth. And the heavens are the work of thy hands. Verse 26. Go and work it out. Ah! <laughs> you know, there's one kind of business like that that you go and buy a container. And it's like 50 50. Anything where you see, where you see that container, sometimes you go hammer like this. Sometimes you will make 100 times your money, sometimes you will crash. Now, this is not the best example, though. This is not the best example. <laughs> but if you marry a man or you marry a woman, there are things in there that only covenant will reveal. Covenant means whether or we don't, I did here. Yeah. So as you're doing this, yeah, hello, Mary. Hey. <laughs> Let me laugh in gas. Oh, 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 oh. I'm married. <laughs> God help you, you don't know that the guy has dentures. So when he's washing his teeth, the more he will move his dentures. He said, <laughs> anyway. <laughs> That's why you just come into the room and you just see that the room is centered. <laughs> Maybe you, you think you are dreaming. Maybe hearing. Say more. Wait, I have enter. You have entered, though. You have entered. You are there. You are there. Now you are started. Or your wife that was just so nice and dainty. Hey, honey, hey, honey, hey, honey. She just entered, entered one day, just prat! You have entered. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. This one we they see for a movie. Yeah, yeah. You don't know until. They shall perish, but thou shalt endure. All of them shall wax old as a garment. As a vesture shalt thou change them, and they shall be changed. Let's go ahead, please. But thou, O Lord, art the same. Your years have no end. Psalm 90, verse 1. 2024 is going to, is going to the, the season will change, but the God of the season never changes. You can trust him. You have his word. You can trust him. You just need a greater attention. The fiercer light becomes, the more focused you must be on God's word. That's all. You must refuse to be distracted. And then some people just need to grow up. Grow up spiritually. And just stop complaining about every little thing. Lord, see, it's not complaining that changes things. It's believing. You see, faith is your instrument of creation. Sometimes if you want to make peace, you, you want to have peace in your life, you must create it. Get into God's word and create a picture of the end and begin to live there. I tell you, you will force everything around about you to enter that picture. Lord, you have been our dwelling place in all generations. Verse 2. Before the mountains were brought forth, or ever thou hast formed the earth and the world, but... Uh huh. Or ever thou hast formed the earth and the world, even from everlasting to everlasting, thou art God. Glory to God. You know why I know the enemies of Plato will be defeated? They should go and ask Pharaoh. They should go and ask Nebuchadnezzar. In fact, they should not go too far. They should ask one military dictator, wear eye like this, wear glass like this. The one that he said the car fits. 
They should go and ask him where he, where he is now. This guy. See, eh? if you stay with God's word, you will rise to the top. Just settle down and stay with God's word. You will rise to the top. Second Peter chapter 1. I hear a guy living soon laughing. I'm sure all the crossovers you have heard this music. I'm a broken record though. I, I discover it works. <laughs> hey, hallelujah. I don't know how many times this week I've eaten rice. And I'm still going to eat rice. I'm not tired of rice. Jollof rice, rice pudding, rice and stew, ton shinkava, ton rice, this one rice. This is all not rice. Massa, be all that. You go to all these fancy restaurants and they do all these things and they call it all kind of names. Ganesh, Ganesh, Kunush, Nal. It's just one class of food. Every day, the food classes are just the same. The way they do it and charge you money for the accommodation, everything. You can't be paying money. I went to one place one day and they said something to the house. I said, oh, wow, is it true? Oh, wow. Then I just called something. Do you have this? They say they don't have. I knew they didn't have. I said, I'm out of here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just come and take my money for what? One kind of little two thing like this. We don't go anywhere. Then you say 20,000. No problem. It's your right to charge. It's my right to go away. Now, <laughs> second Peter chapter 1 per 16. Hey. Life is not hard like that. Now look at this, verse 16. For we have not followed cunningly vice fable. Is it the restaurant I'll plant on my head or is it my body I want to be full? Now, for we have not followed cunningly devised fables. When we made known unto you the power and coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, we were eyewitnesses of his majesty. Let's continue. For this is Peter talking. For we have we received from God the Father. You know, when they were with Jesus on the Mount of Transfiguration. Transfiguration. That's what he's commenting on here. For he received, he, he received from God the Father honor and glory when there came such a voice to him from the excellent glory. This is my beloved son in whom I'm well pleased. And this voice which came from heaven we heard when we were with him in the Holy Mount. But we also have a more sure word of prophecy. Kai. What can be more, more spectacular than being physically with Jesus. Three of them were there. Peter, James, and John. And Jesus was there. And the Lord they knew. In their eyes transfigured. His glory came out. The fusions of his glory came out. Moses stood on one hand. Elijah stood on one hand. My God. Peter said we need to do boots and tabernacle in this place. And they heard a voice coming from excellent glory. Saying this is my son. This is my beloved son. Hear you him. My God. Ah. But Peter said, with all of that, we have a more sure word of prophecy. Kai, think about what Peter is saying. Peter is saying there is something more sure than seeing the physical son of God translated with Moses and Elijah standing beside him. Look at that level of glory. Peter said there is something more sure than that. Because you know something? People can be deceived in the realm of apparitions. And supernatural visions and dreams. You can be deceived. But this book can't deceive you. By his stripes you are healed. You can take that to the bank. Are you here somebody? I said are you here somebody? Whatever you see in this book. You can take it to the bank. Listen. Don't feel inferior. Because your, your encounter with Christ is not spectacular. I've never seen an angel's wing in my life. When I talk about the ministry of angels. Is by a development of perception in my spirit, and then I see manifested. Are you here, somebody? It's not just saying I see a vision somewhere. Nothing wrong with vision, but listen, you we are not led by visions. You are led by God's word. His spirit illuminating His word to your heart is the more sure word. When God tells you your future is secure, it's better than seeing a eh, ten visions. We have a more sure word of prophecy. But I understand our African context, we like these things. We like it. World Gecko is traveling on the wall. Hey! We, 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 that's our culture. That's our training. We don't like this spooky thing. Now, one of my relatives told me that when their money is, when they feel their left hand. But it's me still giving that person money. I mean, I don't feel anything for my left hand. No. 
But you wait a few for your left hand, I mean, they give you money. You see, you see, people don't even think through anything. Your brain is for thinking. <laughs> I don't know why some people just get some things. Africans, Africans. Say, hey, the tree just blew one kind. Hey. The tree blew one kind, no? You see the way this tree blew? It's not ordinary. There's something there. You have a more sure word of prophecy. Say, Pastor, I woke up on the side of the bed. I just fell one kind. Well, go back, roll to the other side. <laughs> Try the other side. What is all of this? But I just, I just woke up. I just came out of my house. And people were just looking at me one kind. You might look at them one kind. People are thinking about many things. So sometimes you have overrated yourself. For you think everybody is disturbing that. You have overrated yourself small. Oh. People have things on their mind. Oh. So somebody is thinking. They even see you. They say, you see, you see that person. Look, you see, you look at it. Look how they just passed out. They just turned their lip. See them. You don't even know what they're thinking. That day. Maybe they just jammed them with kufis wala or something. You don't know what they're thinking. You know that some people can be looking at you like this, they're not seeing you. <laughs> they're just going, they're, up there, they're living in a the world. They're contemplating how to handle some things. We have a more sure word of prophecy. Where until you do well, that you take heed. Look at this. As a light that is shining in a dark place. Kai. Oh my God. <laughs> you know, I tell people, eh, God's word has two lights. The first light of God's word is what is called hope. Hope is not wishful thinking. Like you use the English language, I just hope things will be okay. I just hope that one's just wishful thinking. But Bible hope is the word elpis in the Greek New Testament is a, a confident expectation that what God said will come to pass. Bible hope is based on what God has said. And Psalm 1 in 19 verse 89 says, Forever, O Lord, thy word is settled in heaven. Forever, O Lord, thy word is settled in heaven. As you see me like this, I know I can never be broke again. I've left the realm of the broke. Not by vision or dream. But by practicing God's word and practicing it and meditating upon it and practicing something has settled in me. I can't fellowship with broke again. I know that this church is a success. I don't care what's going to happen. I don't care whether 10,000 naira to a dollar. My God shall supply all my needs according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. I'm in partnership with the gospel. I'm in partnership with the anointed, anointed men and women. That anointing rubs off on me. My future. You see, there's things you discover in God's word. You set your future. Are you here, somebody? So when you start hearing God's word, the first light of God's word is that something happens when light invades hopelessness and helplessness. You've never found a greater miracle than the miracle of hope. When they say there's no way out for this sickness. Medicine has done everything it can do. But the light of God's word pierces your heart. That thing is not just informational. It's coming from a truth and a reality settled in Christ's sacrifice. When he enters your spirit, then light comes. You may not have a dime, a couple in your bank account, but you know you can never be broke again. That's what we're talking about, honey. That's why we labor and teach and preach. Your body may be roaring with sickness, but inside of you, you have laid hold on that Bible hope. It's a picture concerning what Christ has done. It is not wishful thinking. Oh, it's a download from heaven based on what Christ has done. So Peter is saying, we have a more sure word of prophecy. This is what I'm trusting that we take and seize no matter how 2023 has been. Let us seize this more sure word of prophecy. When you, I love what Chris, uh, Pastor Chris Oyakilomo always says, that when you hold on to God's word, you will always come back with a testimony. You take heed unto that light. As a take heed, as unto a light shining in a dark place until the day dawn. You see the word until is a process. 
When Proverbs 4 said, my son, pay attention to my word. Incline thy ear unto my sayings. Do not allow them to depart from thy eyes. Keep them in the midst of thine heart. This thing is investment. It's investment. You spend time in God's word if you want the, faith, the hope and faith of God's word to rise in your spirit. That's what you use to combat life's challenges. You spend time in it. As unto a light that shineth. So we call it a pilot light. Is the light that guides our life. We choose to focus on that pilot light. We choose to focus on it. And everything else fades away. We choose to focus on it. We stay with God's word until that light of hope rises. And then the faith comes and takes hold on hope. And that light shows us. You're coming out. Your future is bright. You're healed. You're blessed. You're a blessing to the world. You hold on to that pilot light. I tell you, it will command circumstances to follow suit. Glory to God. You see, you hold on to it until. That until will come for you. God is no respecter of persons. If it didn't come for you in 2023, it will come for you in 2024. If you are walking the path of this light, oh, the light is the light of God's word. The entrance of thy word giveth light. It giveth understanding to the simple. So when God gives you, and, you, and this thing, there's a way it enters. You see what this brother said? That he doesn't know how. He just kept coming, but he paid attention to it. And they say he doesn't understand how that addiction left him. Faith came. And when faith came, he just threw that thing off. He didn't even know. That's how you throw off sickness. That's how you throw off lack. That's how you see you unite with your prophecy. It will manifest in your life. Against all odds, you will unite with that prophecy. Something is coming from the supernatural realm, the realm of heaven, that will make this thing flesh out in your life. Are you here, somebody? Glory to God. As unto a light that shineth in the dark place until the day down. I beg you, settle down with God's word and forget this itching ear business. I love what Reverend Tokula always says. That if you listen to too many, if you eat, if you eat, from, if you eat from every table, we will not be able to diagnose your sickness. Everywhere you chop, everywhere you chop, everywhere you chop. When Bele come the wrong, we're not going to know. Where you chop, you chop 18 places. Where will we start investigating places? You chop at the table of, I curse your enemy and I die. You chop at the table of generational curse. You chop at the table of near miss blessing, near miss syndrome. You chop at this one, chop at this one, chop at this one. Then you come and chop in covenant word that tells you just receive it as a gift of grace. You don't even know. Your Bele go the wrong. The one we want to diagnose your case, we don't even know. Because you don't chop, you let from everywhere in there. Chopulate. You hear everything. As unto a light that shineth in a dark place, until, if you take heed to God's word, I tell you, your until will come. Until the day dawn and the day star arise in your heart. You know that day star is faith. When it rises, it puts off affliction. It puts off circumstances. It moves men into their destiny. When I mean men, I mean men and women as well. Are you here, somebody? Are you listening to me tonight? So there's a season change, but the God of the season is still the same. No matter the change of season, it is still the same word of God that you have to believe to get you manifestation. Thank you, Lord. Now let's go to Deuteronomy 32. Some of you are just waiting to shout. You soon shout. Deuteronomy 32. God, <laughs> human beings. Eh? Say, so, Pastor, you're on your own. Let 12 midnight knock. Make we just begin shouts. I'm on my own, but I will still be preaching. Tomorrow you are the same one that will come and say, I'm the one that was saying, Pia Pastor should just be, but I listened and, and that what delivered me. You see? Some of you will hear your testimony three years later when you've already enjoyed it. Deuteronomy 32, verse 9. Hallelujah. For the Lord's portion is his people. Jacob is the lot of his inheritance. Verse 10, he found him in a desert land and in the waste howling wilderness. Listen. The Lord's portion is his people. Jacob is the lot of his inheritance. He found him in a desert land and in the waste howling wilderness. He led him about. He instructed him. He kept him as the apple of his eye. Now I know when you see Jacob is a type of the church as well. 
As an eagle stirreth up her nest, fluttereth over her young, spreadeth abroad her wings, taketh them and beareth them on her wings. So the Lord alone did lead him. Please see yourself in this scripture. This is you in 2024. As an eagle stirreth up her nest, fluttereth over her young, spreadeth abroad her wings, taketh them, beareth them on her wings. So the Lord alone did lead them. And there was no strange God with him. Now look at the result of it. Look at the result of all of this. He found him in the desert land, in the waste howling wilderness, a desolate place. God finds you anywhere. But if he can get you to follow his instructions, he will lead you out of that place. Are you here somebody? As an eagle stirs up her nest, fluttered over her young, spread abroad her wings, take them, bear them on her wings. So the Lord alone did lead him. Oh, may the Lord alone lead you in 2024. So be delivered from greed. Let the Lord alone lead you. You have a great destiny. Don't compare yourself with anybody. The Lord alone led him. You know that he looked around, left, right, and said, ah, look at what this one's going there. Look at this one's going here. Hey, me, I better think about myself. So the Lord alone did lead him. There was no strange God with him. And look at what the result is. He made him ride on the high places of the earth that he might eat the increase of the fields. And he made him to suck honey out of the rock. There's nothing like wilderness. Oh. I tell you the truth. When God is leading you, that place they call wilderness will, bring, will become water garden. He made him suck honey out of a rock because the Lord led him. Some of you, that place you are now, like Hagar in 2024, it will transform to become a watered garden for you. Let the Lord lead you. Stay focused. Out of the flinty rock, he sucked honey. Butter of kind, this is abundance. Milk of sheep, fat of lambs, rams of the breed of Bashan, goats. This was, their, I, this was prosperity for them in those days. Are you somebody? He's talking about abundance. This is an extension of the overflow anointing. Are you here somebody? With the fat of kidneys of wheat and thou didst drink the pure blood of grape. Look at this place of abundance. What happened? The Lord found him. It doesn't matter where the Lord finds you. In frustration, in confusion, in all kind of mess. If you allow him to lead you and instruct you. If you allow him to be the only one to lead you. Not your sentiments, not your emotion. Are you here somebody? Not your, your, your covetous or competitive tendencies. Of course, I'm not talking about, um, there's an aspect of competition that may not be evil. I'm talking about when you're doing it out of strife, then he'll bring you to 13 and 14. Praise the name of the Lord. Are you here, somebody? So this year, as we enter 2024, the Lord told us that it is our year of soaring on eagle's wings. <laughs> I wish I had more time to explain, but we have a whole year to do it. Actually, the phrase the Lord kept putting in my heart is on eagle's wings. 2024, on eagle's wings. But you know, because we can't say 2024, we can't, we can't, we can't make a confession out of that, so we'll say sorry. But it's actually on eagle's wings. Are you here, somebody? Glory to God. I know some of you are looking. Imam, I'm looking. It's 11.59. So as we enter 2024 now, it is on eagles. Give the Lord a shout of praise. Give the Lord a shout of praise. Glory. 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 You have officially crossed over from 2023 into 2024. Tell somebody Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Say you made it. You made it. Happy New Year. Lift up your hands and give the Lord some praise and give him a shout. Sore balakara bose kele baya bala bole ba yegere bele 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 alaba yele bala bo kolo buru ba yala bande kle den bele bala koryo lobo. I'm soaring on eagles' wings. I'm soaring on eagles' wings. I'm soaring on eagles' wings. 
2024. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Now I stand, I stand, I stand on this prophetic altar to everyone listening to me online. Our brethren in Australia, the United States of America, the United Kingdom, in the UAE, wherever you are. And to everyone joined online, anywhere in this nation, anywhere in the nations of the earth. And to all of you here tonight, I stand on this prophetic altar and I declare, I'm, I'm, I'm telling you with the utmost responsibility in my heart. 2024 is the year you have been waiting for. It's not, it's, not, it's not poetry. It's not poetry. It's not even prophecy. I'm speaking the mind of God to you. 2024 is the year you have been waiting for. Now let me say this because it's so strong in my heart to say. This will not be your last year on this earth. Hear me? This will not be your last year on this earth. Now hear me. Far from it. Far from it. 2024 is the year you've been waiting for. I knew this from October. I saw it in the spirit. I said, I saw, I saw God bearing his people on wings like an eagle. This year you will soar. You see, this overflow anointing has introduced us into this place. But you see, I was telling you that it's time to run. It's not really time to run. It's actually time to fly. That's the truth. That is the truth. Many of you, early this year, in fact, you know something? The Lord told me about January. He said, January is going to be a fat month. January. Fat. Forget it. It's going to be dripping fatness. I'm telling you, January is going to be fat. Fat. That fat I'm talking about is not overweight like, you know, I'm talking, I'm just talking about abundance. So what I'm telling you is that the season has changed. When they overflow, the season has changed. January is a fat month. And in 2024, the God is going to bear you up on wings like an eagle. We're going to explore the depths of that. Are you here, somebody? Because this thing is not a matter of struggling. It's a matter of learning and flowing with God. It's not a matter of struggling. The season has changed. God has multiplied your footsteps. I'm telling you, many of you are going to be 10 times more this year. Many of you are going to be 100 times more this year. Many of you are going to be 1,000 times this more this year. But I'm telling you, the secret of this thing is to keep a heart for the gospel. I'm telling you, it is time to soar. So, you know, eagles don't, eagles, not, eagles fly to get to a place where they soar. When they saw, they're just taking, they're just riding and gliding on wind currents. That's where we are now in the spirit. Are you here, somebody? And when I came into this place tonight, the Lord told me, I've been telling you and I'm telling you still. And I remember that when we came up with that, I know you're standing, that Thanksgiving service outside. I just came out, you know, to begin to preach. And the Lord said, I am the God of wide open places. And I am your God. And the Lord just told me again tonight, he said, he said, see, I've told you, you have outgrown this place many times over. And you know something? I'm telling you by prophecy, that place where you are, you have outgrown it long time ago. But this God of wide open places, your God will visit you this year. And he's going to visit you early. I had some precious saints visiting with me. I don't know even how they managed to do that, but well, because usually I should have been studying, but somehow my heart, I just, I just, I don't know. I just yielded there. So they just came to visit me briefly. And as I was talking, that's how the word of the Lord comes for me. I said, you know what? God is going to visit us in January early. And he's going to visit us fast. And it's going to be large. Mark my word. Early, fast, and large. The God of wide open spaces is our God and is your God. Can you help me prophesy? Somebody say, the God of wide open spaces is your God. Now give the Lord a shout for 2024. Glory! 
Can you slap somebody a high five again and say, Welcome to 2024? The year of our Lord 2024. Say in 2024, we are soaring like an eagle. Help me prophesy to your neighbor. Say, neighbor, 2024 is the year you've been waiting for. 2024 is the year you have been waiting for. Glory to God forevermore. I said, glory to God forevermore. Now, before I sit down and I and we continue with the and just let you go, can I lead you in the declaration for 2024? The year of soaring on eagles' wings. I didn't give media because I didn't want them to see it and lick it. So I didn't give them. I refused to give them. But I'll give them and you'll have it for Sunday. Book campus, you'll have it for Sunday. Praise the Lord. All right, say with me 2024, 2024. is my year. Of soaring. of soaring. Say, I'm soaring, I'm soaring. on eagle's wings far above the curse of sickness, disease, poverty, lack, the effects of spiritual death, and the economies and corruption of this world. Say, I'm born of the Spirit of God. I'm led by the Spirit of God and not by my senses. Say, I walk by faith and not by sight. Say, I walk in the love of God and not in strife. Say, I walk in the spirit and not in the flesh. Say, I am in the world, but not of the world. Say, I thrive. I flourish in this world, not just survive. Say, the Lord is my defense. The Lord is my shield. The Lord is my glory and the lifter of my head. Say the Lord is my exceeding great reward. My quickly and rapidly increasing money supply. Glory! Give the Lord a shout one more time. Glory, 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 glory. Thank you.